Today, Brandon votes for a new mayor, for school board trustees, and for ward councillors who will lead the city for the next four years. In order to count those votes, an electronic voting process was put in place in 2010 and has sped up count times substantially. In order to tell us about this process, Carrie Smythe from the City of Brandon is here with us. Carrie, can we start? Tell us about the system. How does it work? Well, it is basically a digital ballot scanner. And so the ballots are placed into the scanner. It reads them. It reads how the uh, voter has marked the different races. And then it tabulates the results for us at the close of the evening. Uh, do you anticipate any problems while running thousands of votes through the system? We're not anticipating any, but we're trying to stay a step ahead of uh, what could go wrong. A power failure is one that we make sure that we're prepared for. And the digital ballot scanner has a battery life of four hours of continuous voting or seven hours of intermittent voting. And what is it like for voter security? How, what can they expect in terms of confidentiality? Complete confidentiality, that is key. It's, it's part of our responsibility with running the election. Well, I'm using a test ballot uh, that has been pre-marked for us, but it comes in a confidentiality or a secrecy sleeve so that to no way can you read how the voter has marked their ballot. And it's put face down into the machine, and the machine pulls it right out from the secrecy sleeve. So never once has the voting official seen how the voter has marked their ballot. Well, thank you, Carrie, for joining us here, telling us about the electronic voting process. And for Brandon Votes, I'm Colton Swiderski.